Hello YouTubers and whoever. Feel your pain and face your fears. Okay? And yearn for God's love. That's really all I need to say. You don't believe me, do you? You don't believe me. But that's what Jesus is saying. And he's right. He's back. And he's right. This is Judgment Day. It's it's here. All right, it may take a few years, but this is Judgment Day. If you look at the history of human race, we are living in a very unique time. God's plan is unfolding, and um, for those of you who don't believe in God, <clears throat> start believing. Because uh, you're going to need him. Her. Him, her. He, she. He, she created all of us. Created our souls. Created the universe. Created the laws of the universe. And within that, he gave us free will. All of us souls. We have free will. We can do what we want. Okay? That's why there's a lot of shit going on. Because even the first humans erred, and if you like, we're kind of paying for that now. But God saw that it wasn't going quite so well, so he tweaked it a little bit, and his tweak was Jesus. When Jesus was born over 2,000 years ago, he was um, a bit special. In a sense that he had had um, any emotional pain taken out of his soul. So his soul was perfect. And we too can attain a perfect soul. We just have to undo the damage that our parents caused us while we were in the womb and as we were babies and as we were children. But they had exactly the same thing happen to them. So it's been going on for a long time. But, um, so Jesus was here over 2,000 years ago and preached the right message. Okay, that's been written down slightly wrong and bits added to it and da da da. So we didn't get the full message then, we got, you know, part of it. And uh, since then Jesus' body died, but he and his soulmate continued up through the spiritual world to a point where they could reincarnate and they were the first ones to be able to reincarnate and um, now we're here now he's come back, he was born in 1962 and he's teaching us if you're willing to listen and if you've found him on YouTube or the few people who have found him in real life and listened to his seminars and such. <clears throat> and even those people are struggling to to actually do what Jesus is saying. It's, it's quite hard, and I can't say I've done it yet, um, but I can say that I'm doing it, and I'm trying to do it, and, and I've had feelings where I thought, oh, this is too hard, I'll, I'll give up and, you know, do it perhaps when I die and I go into the spirit world. <laughs> but, um, no, I, I'm pretty determined I want to do it now. My main, my main uh, drive to do it, I suppose, is not just for me, it's, it's for everyone, it's for the whole world, because the more people who do it, um, the the more the more <laughs> the more people can kind of have an example and see how it's done and and uh, resolve their issues too. So what I said right at the beginning: feel your pain, face your fears, and yearn for God's love. That is as simple as I can put it. So it means. Avoiding all addictions, um, emotional addictions and physical addictions. Now, 
I'm still grasping with that myself. But you know, you can you know, you have to do it gradually. No one's gonna just wake up in the morning and just do it. Well maybe they are, but you know, in most cases it's gonna be a gradual thing. You're gonna try it out for a bit and then you're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Um the main reason for making this video now is uh I just watched Fidokev 213, 7th file 213, his videos, he does a a video every month um, sort of putting together all the all the weird stuff happening around the world and previously it's mainly been extreme weather but uh, his last video <clears throat> just showed all about you know what ISIS is doing and including volcanoes and earthquakes but you know sort of all the, the shit going on in in the world and the, the bad stuff basically and and by compressing it all in in one video over a period of a month you know you you look at it and you think oh it's bad um <clears throat> and i haven't been watching any of those videos for uh, over a month now i haven't been watching any negative stuff on youtube i've just been listening to the words of jesus <coughs> aj miller telling people about it, surprised that they're not interested. <laughs> um, what can I say? So, I think, I think it's Judgment Day. We're in Judgment Day and, and the slightly scary thing is, is that um, you've got all these spirits, so everyone who's died Okay, some some of them have have um, done the right thing and gone into the spirit world and and they you know they've faced up to what they are and 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 uh, some many of them have um, gone the right path and and f f believe in God and the divine path, um, but many of them don't, and many of the spirits stay on the earth, and they. They seek to get their addictions met by kind of sharing them with real people on the earth doing things. So, so for example, uh, a spirit who smokes, you know, might want to get me to smoke more so he can share in it when I smoke. So, you know, half the time when I'm smoking and I'm not doing it because I want to, I'm doing it because some other spirit wants me to. And that that's, that's God doesn't like that. God likes us to use our free will. He gave us our free will. And if someone is pressuring me to do something I don't necessarily want to do, then I'm not using my free will. Okay, smoking, you know, I'm only really harming myself. I'm not necessarily harming harming others. Um, apart from, say, my son who looks at me smoking and then he's more likely to smoke, you know, so in a sense than I am. But, you know, they're, they're doing much worse things as well. And... and the more that these spirits do things like this, or they might get you to have sex with people that you wouldn't necessarily, or they make you get even more drunk, and when you get more drunk, you're more likely to do other things. And as the years go by, these spirits, they can they don't need to sleep, they can just carry on doing this 24 hours a day, but they, they, they get themselves in a worse condition, and what that happens then, they, then they want to get people to do worse stuff. And they get in a really bad condition, and they're not really facing up to the their condition at all. They're just continuing doing worse and worse stuff, and you know, getting people to want to kill other people or hurt other people. You know, and then now we're now we're talking serious serious stuff. And you know, just watching this video and seeing an ISIS bloke slit the throat. Of an American, you know, he's doing the guy who's killing the the guy doing the killing is seriously worsening his condition, his soul. His soul is going to get worse and worse, and there's no end to it. One day he's going to have to face up to that. One day he's going to have to cry about it and feel that pain. Um, it's it's inevitable, and. 
I kind of see God's plan as, you know, he's not going to let them just carry on getting in such a bad state. Okay, so he sent Jesus, and Jesus is doing what Jesus does, and he's, he's teaching us how we can how we can improve and get better. It's basically by feeling all your physical pain, all your emotional pain, without leaning on your addictions, um, which may be physical addictions like smoking, or it may be by sort of people have emotional addictions with other people, you know, so they, they, they like to uh, lean on other people, get other people to, to, to do things for them. That's not exactly my main thing. I, I'm, mostly I'm quite content on my own, so mainly I just have to deal with my, my smoking and stuff, and probably there's more in my head that, I, that, that, that I'm not aware of. And then face your fears. If you feel a fear coming on, face it. Look into that fear. Don't suppress it. Don't run away from it because then it won't go away. If you just face that fear and go into it and feel the fear, um, it will pass. And then it will be gone. And that will be your soul sort of repairing. And you might have a good cry. And then yearn for God's love. And you might be crying when you start feeling his love. But you probably cry with a smile on your face. Okay? But um, it's all being explained by Jesus. I can't really explain it better. I might be able to put it in a nutshell. <clears throat> um, but he he's explaining it very well. He's, he's explaining every single element of it. He's answering all the questions. What happens when you sleep? What happens when you die? It's all there, right? So it's good. But here we are, 2014, towards the end of it. There's shit going down around the earth. It's probably being led by spirits. Spirits are forcing ISIS people to kill people. Well, when someone's in a position where they're at war and maybe going to kill someone, then that attracts these spirits and they're probably pushing them to do it more. <clears throat> And I bet all the politicians have got spirits, you know, pushing them to do stuff. Um, probably a lot of the bad stuff going on is quite possibly spirits, spirits pushing it, or it's just people's greed. You know, they just want more money, whatever it is. So, uh, so yeah, that's my point. It's Judgment Day. We're here. This is Judgment Day. So, if you want to get better, and you would, wouldn't you? If you don't want to feel, for example, if you repaired your soul so that you uh, had no soul damage, so you felt all your fears, and you felt all your emotional pain that you got from your parents when you were younger, and you forgive your parents for it and everything else, and you repent all the bad things that you did as, as a result of that, which may take some time. But once you've done that, you wouldn't need any addictions. You wouldn't feel like smoking a cigarette or, you know, you wouldn't want to do anything bad. So, and then, and then you can just, then you can just climb and learn and, and it'd be awesome. And he is right. So, um, that's that. Okay, bye.